Hello, I hope you all are doing well and welcome back once again to the crash course of media chapter. So, okay, so now we move on to the three main perspectives that explains how media works and we're going to explore the nature and role of media. So our first perspective for media is pluralists. So pluralists believe that media has an important role to play in the society. Media is seen as the secondary agency of socialization that passes on the norms and values of a particular society. The basic argument that pluralists give is that audiences' opinions and their views are shaped by the content that is being presented on media. They say that audiences are not passive, right? So your audiences that are watching the media they're not passive, but rather they're active and critical consumers of media content. Right? And this happens through the diversity of media content that they consume right through the medium, through TV or through radio or through your or through mainly through now through social media. and in reality they say that media promotes two things media promotes choice and competition for the active and critical consumers so competition basically comes from you see the media houses are constantly competing with each other they're trying to produce content that is going to be consumed by the mass audience right so pluralism which basically translates into competition which give it translates into competition and on the other hand they say that which gives a wide range of options to people for to people that they can choose from people will not watch something that does not satisfy their desire and when they say that there are a lot of things that are being produced and people have a range of choice right so it basically promotes like i told you it basically promotes competition and each director or each producer is competing with each other to produce the next blockbuster hit right otherwise they will they will otherwise what will happen otherwise they're going to lose their viewership right another thing that the uh, pluralists say is that the distinction between the producers and the consumers is also blurring with the advent of new media now we see that the, anyone who's consuming youtube i'm giving the example of youtube they can also produce on Z- youtube for example I am a consumer of YouTube but also I am a content creator at YouTube similarly it can be true for other social media websites like like Facebook like Instagram right moreover pluralists also argue that if one type of a narrative is powerful then it is not the fault of media being biased or untrue that it may be for example like I would move on to further explaining marxist they would say that if one type of a one type of a narrative is powerful that is that is that is because the elite people create that type of a narrative right they say that no it's not the it's not the fault of media media is not manipulating the minds of people because media gives you choice and freedom to choose from it's simply because what the audience wants media will only produce anything everything that the audience wants so we cannot say that media is all powerful right they say that the power literally lies in the hands of the audience which has the power to choose and to promote what content that they want right so media will produce the type of content that audience wants media companies are not only owned by one person but they say that being owned they are owned by different shareholders and every shareholder or every stakeholder every person that's a part of their team they're going to have a different view and opinion so it is needless it is pointless to say that ye- that media is all powerful and media is basically manipulating the minds of people to follow one type of agenda there are laws like the liberal laws which prevent media houses from telling lies about people and organizations so they say that your media so they take a very positive approach they say that media promotes competition and choice media also has certain laws where where you cannot obviously manipulate people like they say th- there are the liberal laws which prevent people from telling lies about people and different organization and they promote obviously they promote they favor the private ownership of media as they say that it promotes two things that is crucial to their to to their understanding of media which is choice and competition and that's the role and nature of media that pluralists like to believe in